Hey, Mark. I need your help. You got it, George. It's going to be dangerous. Bring it on. You're not scared? I believe in the eternal afterlife, George. Why should I possibly be scared? Hmm. Good point. Mark, can you defuse a bomb? Well, let me see. No. Good. That makes two of us. Do you think I should be scared, George? Don't worry. I'll be scared for both of us. Mark, I need your rubber gloves. George, this is no time for cleaning. We need to defuse that thing. The military field notes say that static can trigger a bomb. I need to wear some non-conductive gloves, and rubber will be brilliant. Well, why didn't you say? Here, they go with your eyes. Uh, yeah, thanks, I think. Paper clip attaches to the negative wire going into the trigger box. Which other wire should I bridge with the paper clip? Let's try this out. Maybe it'll work. Well, the bomb didn't go off. That's the first part done. Now, to cut the right wire. Well, here goes. I did it! We saved the building! I never doubted it for a moment, George. I think I'll take this for safekeeping. Oh no! They're back! Well, if they are, they'll be sorry they came back so soon. Right. You take the... Well, hello, boys. What's this? Playtime? Hmm, Georges, nice gloves. Georges? Georges, what's the matter? Georges! You're dead. Dead tired, that's for sure. But I heard the shot. You screamed. I assume. Never assume anything when it comes to me, Georges. You should know that. You could have at least called me. My phone got zapped. It's useless. Maybe you better tell me what happened. Well, I had a nice flight, caught some great movies. And by the time I reached Phoenix, I was sure I was going to find something big. Why don't you tell me about it? Where is everyone? If they once made monatomic gold here, they certainly don't anymore. The place has been blown up. And recently. There's a jack handle, but no jack. Worth grabbing, though. Break off.
an old satellite dish holder. The dish has fallen off. Hmm, a good sized piece of rubble. An old rusty pipe lying on the roof. The stamp says, Sheffield Steel? So, how deep is the hole? Pretty deep. Maybe with a bit of a push. Deep is the hole. Hmm, not that deep. It's an office and some kind of loading bay. It's Ronald Maynard. I wonder what happened to him. Maynard certainly seemed to be into guns and girls. A gun display case. But the gun's gone. Gold-plated name tag. Ronald Maynard, Director of Engineering. He's the maniac who gave the interview. I wonder what happened to him. I don't know the password. Looks like the secretary's wedding photo. The date's scribbled in the corner.
that's the right code. Huge hoppers in the floor feed funnels to somewhere down below. I wish I knew how to get down there. Where am I? Anyone there? What a mess! And it doesn't look like the explosion caused it all. It needs a key, and I don't have one. There's a strong smell of fish in there. Someone's been cooking recently. Standing on the table, I can reach it. A stick of gum. Great. I hate gum. Oh my god! A different smell, but just as bad. At a guess. The men's locker room. The door's locked. This locker seems to have had an accident. The door's slightly bent. Door, meet jack handle. Let's have that oil.
Locked. An old-fashioned lock. Locked with an old-fashioned lock. No hacking through there. I don't have the key. The door's locked. <laughs> Mr. Spilacci, what do you want me to do? Apparently she knows nothing. Just deal with her. Stick that gun in my face one more time and I'll shove it up your... Hey, sorry, lady. Nothing personal. You can't beat the AK-47. <laughs> Soldier's best friend. I'm jealous already. Hey, who are those guys? At the guess, I'd say Mafia. I thought so. They want to destroy me, but they won't! <laughs> I'm too clever for them! <laughs> oh, I'm uh, Maynard. Who are you? I'm a journalist. Oh, yeah? From Paris. I saw you on TV, talking about the gold. You were pretty good. No, not good. I'm not good. <laughs> I'm brilliant! Nobody else in the world has done what I've done! Not for thousands of years, anyhow. Monatomic gold. It's real. I've made it. Here. You must be very proud. Proud? Of course I'm proud. The pharaohs, they were the first, you know. Then Moses, he had the secret. He made the gold like me in the desert. It's magical. Kills people, but saves them too. Stops disease, but wipes out millions. No wonder they were scared, huh? But I wasn't. I tanked it. It's beautiful, you know. Whoa, you're not you're not here to steal it, are you? No. I'm here to tell your story. To the world. Hmm. Follow me. My own design. What do you think? It's amazing. Uh, brilliant. I know. The gold goes in there, the machine focuses the energy, then wham! Wallop! Mon atomic gold! Lots of it. Output was fantastic. They wanted as much as I could make, so I made as much as they could ship. <laughs> Who's they? My clients. Why did they want it? For a weapon. A big weapon. I know that's what they were doing, and I hate them. I hate them. But that's terrible. Damn right, he's terrible. They didn't ask me to help. <laughs> How mad is that? I mean, I love weapons. I'm brilliant at weapons. Weapons are my second favorite subject. Next to gold, huh? No, no. Next to girls. Girls, girls. Oh, man, I even like the word girls. So was there some kind of accident? No, oh, those other men. They came. Blew it all up. Mad. Mad. Mad! Do you want to know something? I eat this stuff. Oh, yeah. Every day. Protected me, you see, from their bombs. That was lucky. Lucky? Lucky? Are you insane? I mean, unlucky. So, what happened to Anna Maria? Are you her friend? No. Oh, no. She's not my friend. In fact, I hate her. Good. I hate her too! She's a bitch! A swindling bitch! Took all my money! Millions of dollars! She hid it. I'll show you. It's in here. It must be my money! But I can't open it! I've tried everything! How about... Yeah? Putting the safe in the centrifuge. What? But that would be... Insane? Totally. But would it work? You bet. It's the best idea I ever had! Let's do it! I don't have the code to open it, and I'm not going to guess. Are 
Are you sure that thing is safe? Don't worry, lady. In the right hands, this little baby can blow the head off a rattlesnake at half a mile. And I got the right hands. That makes me feel much safer. So you've already tried to open the safe? I fired a couple of rounds into it, but it still wouldn't open. So what's in it again? Proof that she cheated me. She was making a fortune out of my gold. I know she was. Did you invent the process yourself? Yeah, completely! Well, almost. Anna Maria had this old manuscript. It was ancient. Egyptian. Had a couple of shortcuts in it. I didn't need them well. Just a bit. Where did she get it? Who knows? She never said stole it, probably. Tell me more about the centrifuge. I'll be a god amongst men. No one else can make monatomic gold. Tell me more about the gold. I'm making gold. Not ordinary gold, oh no, monatomic gold. They said it couldn't be done. Tell me more about the gold. I've been eating it, you know. Makes you invincible. Live forever. Tell me about the explosion. I was, uh, I was in the little boy's room. Hm. You wanna know what I was doing? It's okay, I don't need the detail. Well, I'm gonna tell you anyway. I was... I was... washing my hands. <laughs> so it was an accident. Don't be stupid, it was sabotage. That bitch Anna Maria, she owes me money. Why would she blow up the plant? Insurance, why do you think? Were you insured? Hmm, come to think of it, no. This place must have cost a fortune to build. Oh, it did. Millions. So who paid for it? Huh? The secret people. Shh. Don't mention their name. I won't. But you can tell me. Who are they? Well, I don't know. It's a secret. Great. They saw my research. Gave me money to set this thing up. Very hush-hush. Was Anna Maria with them? She was their front man. Uh, a man with a front. <laughs> a lady front man. <laughs> you never met anyone else? Uh, once, a guy on the phone. Forget his name. Who cares? That's history. So, what about Anna Maria? She cheated me. I made all that gold. She took it. Didn't she pay you? So, what if she did? It was mine. Have you no idea at all who she worked for? If I see her... I'll make her pay. That's why I've got my little baby here, huh? Yes. Nice gun. It's mine, and don't you forget it, lady! Some kind of roller system, probably used to move the big hoppers about. The control panel works, but the chains rusted in place. Pour a bit of oil over the chain. Not this time. the hook's going to hold. The safe's down on the rollers.
The panel's dead. Not wired up, I guess. I could hold the two pieces of wire together, but they won't stay there when I let go. Ugh! I hate gum! The piece of gum will hold the wire together. Just. The wires are holding. I can't do anything more. I've connected the wires, but it still doesn't work. I'll fix it. There you go, good as new. The panels worked, but only partially. I can move all the rollers at once, but not separately. And shift it on my own. Could you give me a hand? Need a strong man, huh? Yes, but you'll do. Hey, don't get lippy with me, young lady. There's one person with an AK-47 in this room, and it ain't you! <laughs> No use. There's a safety mechanism. It's not meant to have an object that size inside. Can't you override it? The safety override button is inside the centrifuge. Ah. But hey, if you operate it out here, I can hold the button then come out at the last minute. Sounds dangerous to me. Sounds fun to me, huh? Are you sure that's safe? Safe? Hey, what's the point of safe? Okay. Here goes. I'll have the folder and keys. Hmm. A bank statement and a technical drawing. The statement shows that the factory has received a large amount of money 
From St. Michael, account number three. Very interesting. What was that noise? Sounded like a big machine, boss. A big machine? I know that, you idiot, but what did it do? Dunno, boss. Find the girl, but watch out. That maniac's gotta be around somewhere. Vito! Go out and stay in the hall. Don't let him use the elevator. Yes, boss. They're in the big hall. Time to get out of here. There's a guard on the elevator room. Bus? Is that you? Stay by the elevator door, Vito. Yes, Bus. A lot of oil on the floor around the catch. It's slippery now, all right. Releasing the door. Who's there? About it, but I think not. Time to get out of there. You better not have left the key in the lift, Vito. Oh, come on, boss. I ain't that stupid. <laughs> You're so stupid. You don't even know how stupid you are. Phew. That was close. What you talking about? The boss isn't very happy about this, Mr. Fingers. What do you mean, the boss? I am the boss. That's not what Mr. Spalacci says. He wants to speak to you himself. Just putting him on now, Mr. Spalacci. <laughs> 